anti-capitalist cafe famous for letting customers pay what they like goes bust. The anarchist cafe in Toronto will close at the end of May. Oh, well, who could have seen that coming? Here's a little bit about the anti-capitalist cafe. The Anarchist is a worker-owned, anti-capitalist, anti-colonial cafe, shop, and community space. Gabriel opened the space after leaving Vancouver due to its unwelcoming sense of classism. Though he never felt comfortable working in a coffee shop in BC, he knew if he were to have one of his own, it would have to adopt the values that occupy such a huge part of his life. A place devoted to radical leftist politics, revolution, ending capitalism, improving the world's economic system that benefits everyone and not just elites, and most importantly, sparking conversations that will help implement these ideas. Other than delicious coffee, which Gabriel is most definitely an expert in. The shop has a rich selection of progressive political books that he's selling at wholesale prices. I was happy to try some great light roast espresso here. I even tried my first espresso tonic, which is something of a micro revolution in itself. I highly recommend paying a visit to Gabriel at 190 Jarvis Street, if not for great coffee, for even greater conversation. Even greater conversation, yeah, my ass. Well, how have you been oppressed today, comrade? Well, you see, my landlord wanted to charge me rent, and I feel that rent is an evil of capitalism, and we should revolt and take over, and everything will be a utopia then. You with me, comrade? Notice how they said it was a worker-owned cafe? So when it inevitably fucks up, which it did, and they owe back rent and suppliers and utility companies and taxes, are all the workers going to pitch in for that debt? I mean, if you own the profit, you got to own the loss, right? Now, just before we go on, if you want to enjoy some non-hippie, pro-capitalist, really, really good quality coffee, check out Coffee Brand Coffee. Hearing, 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 hearing. Let's talk about Coffee Brand Coffee, a grassroots, politically neutral coffee company started by my mate Jeremy Hambly last year that's quickly gained a solid reputation as some of the nicest coffee out there. You see, all the coffee you purchase is hand roasted to order. That means they wait till they receive your order before firing up the roaster. And with over 4,000 verified customer reviews, most of them five out of five, you can be confident your Coffee Brand Coffee is going to be an absolute winner. They've got all sorts of flavors and products. They've got your classic light and dark roasts, they've got decaf and double calf, they've got cold brew kits, they've got K-cups for your coffee machine, they've got all sorts of wacky flavours like French toast, strawberries and cream, bourbon flavoured coffee, salted caramel coffee and their latest hit, Blackberry Cream. Have a look at their website coffeebrandcoffee.com, use the coupon code BEARING and not only will you get a whopping 10% off your order, you'll help support this channel and a great up and coming independent coffee company. The Anarchist Cafe, an anti-capitalist and anti-colonial cafe in downtown Toronto will close its doors for good at the end of May. In a statement posted to the cafe's website, owner Gabriel Sims Fewer, oh my god, isn't that a cuck of a name? Gabriel Sims Fewer. That just sounds so beta. Beta! wrote that a lack of personal generational wealth and seed capital from ethnically bankrupt sources left the cafe unable to survive the slow winter season or achieve sustainable long-term growth. Well, mate, you're worker-owned. You let your customers pay what they can. How exactly do you expect to achieve sustainable long-term growth? I mean, you're selling books and apparel at wholesale prices. Nevertheless, Mr. Sims Fewer, <laughs> I can't get over that name, wrote that running The Anarchist has been an amazing experience. The Anarchist has been a huge success in every way I hoped. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And has given me so much inspiration and education that I plan to put into use in future projects, Mr. Sims Fewer wrote. Beta! Keep an eye on the Instagram page to see what I end up doing next. The Anarchist opened in March of last year with a goal of making third wave specialty coffee drinks accessible to working class and poor people. The cafe offered pay what you can drip coffee alongside a range of lattes, teas and pastries. It also carried radical books, prints and merchandise. People were not required to make a purchase at the cafe to use its restroom facilities or rest in the space. Well, you see, Sims fewer. Beta! <laughs> Herein lies your problem. If you let any old bum in, give him a free coffee, let him use the dunnies, and let him sit around on your seats all day, then you're not going to make money. You're not going to be able to pay your bills, and you're going to close. The operation of the cafe for its 14-month existence was made possible in large by Pop Coffee Works, which allowed Mr. Sims fewer... Beta! 
Peter to take over and run its pre-existing cafe for free for six months in 2022 and discounted its rent in the months that followed. Right, so the guy had a six month rent free period and then a discounted period for months that followed and he still shut down. This is why communism doesn't work, ladies and gentlemen. He has proven it yet again. I'd like to say a huge thank you to Pop Coffee Works, my coffee supplier and landlords, for their generosity and patience. They could easily have sold this space or rented it for more than twice what they charged me. So this place wouldn't have existed without them, Mr. Sims Fewer wrote on the website. Beta! They roast the best coffee in the city, so please continue to support them if you buy coffee beans. The Anarchist Cafe garnered a number of positive reviews for the quality of its coffee and atmosphere, and the announcement of its closure was mourned by a number of its fans on Instagram. This is such a great space, one commenter Anita Agrawal wrote. I'm very, very sorry to see this go. Love picking up zines from there. Okay, zines are like old school, like magazines, like short magazines. Mr. Sims Fuhr, who worked for years in the coffee business in British Columbia before opening the Anarchist Cafe, ended his message on the cafe's closure with a reminder of its core operating principles. Fuck the rich, he wrote. Fuck the police. Fuck the state. Fuck the colonial death camp we call Canada. <laughs> oh, yeah. What a dickhead. He got a six month rent free period, he got months of discounted rent and he still couldn't make it work. But don't forget ladies and gentlemen, it was a huge success. Because success as defined by communism is failure. Anyway, just a short one, I'm going to leave it there. If you have any comments, leave them down below or at my super duper gay half stepbrother in law's Twitter account. B skills with three L's and an at at the start. I'll see you next time. Bye. Recession, recession.